Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you for watching. So I'm really excited about today's video, as I have filmed a full drugstore makeup tutorial. I'm so impressed with how everything came out. There are some products in this tutorial that seriously rival the high-end versions of them, like I was so impressed with them. It sort of turned out to be a little bit of a first impression for this video, because I was trying out a lot of new products, and I am so impressed with so many of them. So if you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep watching. I thought for this look today I would do something quite glam um, because my last makeup look was obviously just all about skin so I thought I'd have a little bit of a play with some eyeshadows so I picked up this palette which is the Revolution one here so this is called uh, Reloaded Neutrals 2 I just really like the colours in this I think it's got a good sort of mixture of everyday tones and also colours that you can wear when you want to do a little bit more of a sassy look, you know, which is I think is important when you're buying an eyeshadow palette to have sort of like day and night so that you can use it more. So I bought quite a few new brushes as well because I wanted to use drugstore brushes as well, as much as I can. I do believe that sometimes it is worth investing in your makeup tools. So for example, I will be using a beauty blender because I just don't think there's anything out there in a drugstore that is as good as a beauty blender but most of the other brushes I have tried to get the drugstore version so I picked up this concealer brush this one is from Superdrug so it's literally just their concealer brush so I'm going to use this to add some concealer to my eyelid I feel like all products that you buy from like Superdrug or Boots or something they are the hardest things to get into they are wrapped so intensely that whenever I sit down to do a drugstore makeup tutorial I always feel like it takes about seven hours to actually get into any of these products Okay, I'm finally in. So when I was in Superdrug picking up all of the products for this tutorial, I of course had to get the Maybelline Erase Concealer. This one I absolutely love. I personally think this is an amazing high street concealer. It's so good. So for this, um, this is the one I'm going to use on my eyelids. This is in the colour Light. My light was going a little bit blown out there, so I've just darkened myself a little bit just so you can see it a bit better. I feel like when you put the concealer onto your eyelid, I feel it's best to sort of like tap the brush instead of sweeping it just because, um, I don't know, I feel like it sets the product a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm bringing the concealer all the way to my nose and up to my eyebrow. I had one of those LVL lash lifts <laughs> recently um, and it's been really good for when I sort of don't have any makeup on because my lashes naturally are quite straight but I find it such a pain in the bum when I'm trying to do makeup now because my natural lashes sort of stick upwards and they get in the way a little bit but it's fine, I will work around them. It's funny because I always complain about having straight lashes but since I've had this LVL treatment it makes me realise that actually they are annoying that they're straight but they're great for when you do makeup because they just do not get in the way at all. So I have quite a few different powders that I've bought for today's tutorial but just to set that concealer in place I'm going to use the L'Oreal True Match. So this is in the shade Golden Ivory. I'm just literally going to sweep that over my eyelids just so that concealer doesn't move around. feeling so flushed in my face literally as I'm looking in the viewfinder down here I'm like why am I so red I'm like really warm but it's not warm in here I'm like warm from the inside which is very weird right so now that I've set my concealer in place I'm going to go in with this eyeshadow palette so for this I basically sat down and I have no idea what I want to do or how this looks going to turn out. I'm just going to go with the flow and see what we end up with. So I'm going to get the Revolution palette out. I think I'm going to start with this colour down here, this sort of like light nude, just to sort of build up my crease a little bit. It's actually a really nice colour. So for the brush I'm going to use for this, I'm going to use this. So this is an eye blending brush, actually the one I used to set my powder. This one is a Studio London, but it's this is what the branding looks like, but I got it from Superdrug. Um, so yeah, so it's just a, as I say, it's just a blending brush. So starting with that colour, I'm just gonna blend out my crease. This is actually a really nice sort of orangey colour. It's quite a nice autumnal tone. Once I've brought it along my crease line, I'm also just going to bring it back towards my lash line slightly just to create a little V shape on the outer corner. 
I'm really loving creating this sort of like downward shape when I do my eyeshadow at the moment. So it sort of goes, I follow my crease round and then sort of bring it down and then bring it back in. And it looks especially nice with a wing, which I'm going to do with this look. Um, but yeah, just it's just a really nice shape to do. And it's actually really easy, like a really easy eye shape. Because I've said in many of my videos before that I don't love doing eyeshadow so I try and keep it as simple as possible um, but while you know making it look semi sassy you know so the only thing I couldn't find in Superdrug was a really big sort of fluffy blending brush I'm just going to use this Morphe one this is actually the Morphe Madison Beer brush set collection and then I'm just going to get a little bit more of that colour but with the fluffy brush and just go over just to really buff that all out and then I'm just going to sort of bring the brush slightly down onto my eyelid. I really like the formula of this eyeshadow though, it's really easy to blend out. So once I've got that blended, I'm just going to use this studio brush set, so this is an eye brush set. I'm going to use one of the smaller ones just to add a little bit of a different eyeshadow colour. So I'm going to go in with a slightly more like taupey pale colour, oh not that one, <laughs> this one. And I'm just going to go over my eyelid with that. With these two colours I'm going to alternate between using the brush with the paler colour and then also just that blending brush that I used just to kind of buff both of them sort of into each other. Just looking to create a real sort of soft ombre and then I'm focusing most of the product into the corner of my eye and then bring it out to the middle of my eyelid just because I am going to go back in with a glittery shade over the top but I want most of the brightness in the inner corner of my eye. So, now we have a nice little soft ombre eye there. I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter because, as I said, I wanted it to be a little bit more of a glam eyeshadow look. So, which one do I want to go for? That's the question. There's this really nice sort of pinky shade here, which could be quite nice. But there's also this really lovely gold colour, which I think might work best. I don't want to go too too colourful. I do get a bit scared to use too much colour. It stresses me out a little bit. Yeah, that's a lovely gold colour. So, I'm going to use the other the brush from that eye brush set that I was just talking about and then I'm gonna focus it into the middle of my eyelid just to make sure I'm in focus there sometimes I do find with um, slightly cheaper eyeshadow sets it's easier actually to pack the color on using your finger I think the um, eyeshadow sort of comes off a bit better and then blend it out with a brush Annoyingly, the sheen and the colour from this eyeshadow is not showing up that much on camera, but it's actually got a really lovely sheen to it. So I just added a little bit of the NYX Radiant Finish and Makeup Setting Spray to the brush, and then I also just added, so I basically mixed these two shades here to get a little bit more of a glittery look. This one's got a little bit more of a lighter shine to it, so that's what's given it, it really pops now. So with the Makeup Setting Spray, and then these two shiny shades mixed together, Got a nice little shiny lid, a little soft ombre going on. So, next up I'm going to move on to a liner. For liner I'm actually going to use the L'Oreal. So this is the matte signature eyeliner. This is one of my favourite eyeliners. I'm obsessed with it. I've been using it a lot recently. Actually just for like everyday use, just to give myself a little bit of a little wing. So I'm going to do the step that everyone hates when they're doing their makeup, honestly. I feel like every time I do it, I get anxiety that it's just not going to work. <laughs> One of the best things about this liner, it's got this really small, super, super pointy tip on it, which is really ideal for when you are doing liner. So, I'm going to not speak <laughs> while I do this so I can try and get it right. Okay, I'm going to leave it. <laughs> I feel like eyeliner is one of those things, isn't it, that you can keep going back to and back to and then you just end up ruining it. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a half line just so it just elongates the wing, especially when we've got the lashes on. Plus, I do feel like doing a little bit of a liner like this is so much less stressful than doing a full liner. So for lashes, I'm actually not going to put any mascara on just yet. I'm going to put mascara on after. Just because of my LVL lashes, if I put mascara on and then strip lashes, it becomes a bit of a nightmare to actually put the lashes on. For lashes today, I'm going to be using the Isla Plastic Boy. These are the bad and bougie ones. Honestly, shout out to Gary for making possibly the best eyelashes. I am obsessed with these ones. So I actually bought this duo glue and it says 
it's quick set strip adhesive. I don't know if I've seen the pink one before. I'm assuming, it, I mean, it does say it's new, so it must be. So I'm going to give this one a go with the lashes. I'm just going to trim the lashes down a little bit just to fit my eye. Okay, so my lashes are on. That strip lash glue is actually amazing. It does dry quite quickly, though, so you do have to move a little bit fast. It's also actually black, which I didn't realise. Um, but... It's still great, and I think because I've got liner on, it works anyway, so it's not an issue. But I do think when it comes to duo, the clear, kind of like translucent, like it almost got a shine to it one is my favourite. But I just seem to like never be able to find it in shops. I always have to get it online. I think it comes in the green packaging. It's definitely the best one. But that one was good. I do rate that because it does dry really quickly. And so I'm going to start with this L'Oreal product that I found. It's basically an anti-redness product. Um, it says anti-redness skin enhancer. And you guys will know if you've seen any of my other makeup tutorials how obsessed I am with that Dr. Jar colour correcting cream. And that is green. And when you put it on, it gets rid of redness. So I thought I'd give this a go. This is a real sort of first impressions because I've never used this before. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I'm hoping that it will give a similar sort of vibe to that. And I need the redness today because my cheeks, I mean, I look so rosy, I can't. Oh, it does literally do what that Dr. Jart stuff does, where it changes colour on your skin. Like, you can literally see it change. This also feels absolutely amazing on my skin. I think because it's a CC cream, it's meant to be sort of worn on its own. Um, but I do, I quite like using CC creams as primers. This is amazing. You can literally see it working as it goes onto my skin. Okay, so moving on to foundation, I got this B blending brush. These B brushes that you can get from Superdrug are actually really good. So this is just sort of like a buffy brush. A buffy brush, that's probably the technical term. So for foundation, not that I feel like I actually even want to put foundation on. After this amazing product, oh my god, I'm honestly obsessed. Um, I'm going to use the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. I actually asked you guys on my Instagram what foundation I should use for this tutorial. And a lot of you came back with this. This Maybelline 24 hour superstay. I've never used this before, so I'm excited to do, as I say, a little bit of a first impressions with this. But you were all, and there was a lot of you, it was a very sort of popular choice. So I've got the colour, um, it's, I feel like it's always hard when you're standing in a drugstore trying to pick your colour, but I got... So this colour is 36 Warm Sun, so let's just all hope that this works on my skin. I'm thinking it will, I'm hoping. But it's not too bad. I'd say that's um, that's not a bad that's not a bad match. I'm actually quite happy with that. The um, this feels nice on my skin though. So far, so good. So I'm just roughly um, putting my foundation on here because I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender. As I said at the beginning, um, beauty blenders are one of those things that I just feel like I can't do my makeup without. But the best thing about them, I know they're not technically drugstore, but you only need to buy them occasionally. So it's not one of those things that you're constantly running out of. You can sort of invest in it and then know that you've got it for a while. I'm just going to grab it and blend in my foundation. So I'm really impressed with the coverage of this foundation and I'd say the colour match is pretty good and actually I really didn't use that much and you get a really full coverage which is good. So for concealer I'm going to use those Maybelline Erase concealers. I'm using, so this one is light and then I've also got a really pale one, so this is Cool Ivory which I'm going to use for the, sort of to brighten up certain areas and I'm going to apply it using a concealer brush. So this is the same one that I used for my eyelids. So I'm going to start with that light colour first. And then to be fair, this is actually quite light. So I don't think I need too much, but I'm just going to use a tiny weeny bit of that lighter colour. So that was that cool ivory one. I'm going to put it really close into the corner of my eyes just to get a really nice bright under eye. So while I leave the concealer on to set for contour, I think I'm going to try, I actually bought two different ones. I did buy um, the Maybelline Eraser in a darker shade, so that one was Coco. Uh, this one was in shade 13. But I think I'm going to use this Revolution. So this is the matte base concealer, and this is in shade C12.5. So I'm going to use this to contour. 
So while I'm applying my contour, if you are interested in a little bit more of an in-depth contour video, I did recently just film one because I have changed how I contour my face a little bit. Um, so I've got a bit more of an in-depth tutorial on that if you're interested. And then I've got another brush that I got for this. So this is the Real Techniques. This is a contour fan. It's actually very pretty. It's got this really glittery handle, which I really like. So I'm going to get into this one. I'm actually really liking how this product buffs out. It feels quite creamy, the product, which is nice. So it doesn't set too quickly and it's quite like um, blendable, which is really nice. So then I'm just going to do my forehead. I always think this part of my contour looks really scary. It looks like it's just going to come out so badly. I actually really rate this product. It's another little first impressions, but I really like the colour of it. And I feel like it's, yeah, it's just working really, really well. And because it's also a concealer, it will help to um, give that real sort of flawless skin. And then just before I blend it all properly in, I'm just going to use a little bit more of that light concealer. And just go along the bottom. Okay, so now grabbing my damp beauty blender and just using the side where the foundation was on, I'm just going to blend this all out. I always like to blend um, my concealer in first under my eyes just before I go over any of the contour product. Just in case, you know, the colour shouldn't mix too much, but you don't want to end up with any sort of dark contour product under your eyes. So now that's all blended and looking a little bit less scary, I am just going to use a little bit more of that contour product, so this Revolution Stick. And I'm going to use the fan brush that I used to contour my nose. This again was another thing that I could not find an alternative to this, but it's not expensive. I will link this one below for you guys. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the end of the brush. Get rid of any excess on the back of my hand. And then just contour my nose. So now I'm going to set my face. So I got this Lace Revolution face powder. So this has got a little slight pink undertone. So I'm hoping it's gonna be similar to the YSL one that I use because I am absolutely obsessed with that one. And I just figured anything with a slightly pink undertone is always great for under your eyes. So I feel like this should work really well. So with this powder, I'm going to be using this Dose of Colours sponge. Again, this is another one that I tried to find a pointy alternative like this in the in Superdrug, but there just wasn't anything. But I will link this one below. It's just so good to get really into the corner because it's got such a good point on it. And it's also great to sort of drag down your nose like that. It gives you a lot of control over the powder, this sponge, which is why I love it. This is good though. This powder is looking and feeling really, really similar to that YSL one that I use. I absolutely love when I film these drugstore makeup tutorials and I find stuff that works just as well as the slightly more expensive version, like for example that colour correcting um, CC cream. That was so similar to the Dr. Jart one, it was unbelievable. I feel like we're going to get a really, really amazing like eye brightness with this powder. Okay, so I'm going to leave that to set. And while I'm leaving that to set, I'm going to do the rest of my face. So for this, I got this Studio. This is just a big sort of powder brush, this one. And so for the rest of my face, I'm going to use that L'Oreal True Match powder that I used to set my eyelids, and this is in the shade 1D. I obviously normally use a translucent powder to set the majority of my face, but... There isn't, I didn't really see a really good translucent powder alternative to that Laura Mercier one, which I'm obsessed with, um, because they're all sort of, the drugstore versions, always, uh, they're like white, and it sort of stressed me out a little bit. I was like, I don't know if I want to use a white powder, but this L'Oreal True Match one is such a good powder. I love watching the shine disappear. It's so satisfying. Even though this one te technically has got um, a colour to it, when I'm putting it on here now, I feel like it's got a very similar vibe to a translucent setting powder because it's not changing the colour of my cheeks too much or getting rid of that contour or any of that kind of stuff, which is good. And then I also got, because I'm obsessed with using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder in medium deep to do my cheeks. So I also got the shade, um, what is this one? Let's see, this shade is called Golden Cappuccino in the True Match because I thought it would probably work similar to the translucent setting powder in medium deep. For this I'm just using an e.l.f. cosmetics brush. So I'm going to give this a whirl. This again is another first impressions because I haven't actually used this. 
This is looking good. This is looking good. I like this. It's got a really nice soft colour to it, which is exactly why I love the medium deep translucent setting powder because it's like a bronzer, but it's not quite so as intense as a bronzer. So I'm basically just putting this L'Oreal powder just everywhere that I put the contour product. I'm also going to do under my chin. I'm definitely feeling this powder though. It's working so, so well. It's actually so nice. I don't think I'm even going to bother with a bronzer. I'm just going to put some blush on. And so for blush today, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Life's a Peach blush. This is such, such a nice blush. Honestly, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It smells unbelievable. It literally smells like peaches. It's so nice. I'm going to use another. So I got another one of these studio face brushes. I'm going to use this for blush. You can see there that it's given like my cheeks a nice bit of colour, but it's not too pink. So for to finish off my eyes, I'm just going to use that colour there that we used in the crease just on my waterline. And then I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on as well, but I think that's all I'm going to do. I've got a really nice formula, these Revolution eyeshadows. So before I set my face, I'm just going to do my lips. I'm going to use the NYX Cosmetics. So this is the Lip Crayon in Nude Truffle, which I kind of picked up because I think it's quite close to Strip Down. So I just blended that in slightly, and then for lipstick, I'm going to use the Maybelline. So this is this Superstay Matte Ink in Driver. This used to be my absolute go-to nude. I used to wear this all of the time when I was younger. It's quite a cool tone nude, but I think it works really well, especially if you've got like a, an, a heavy eyeshadow look or something you want like a really nice, it's, it's a proper nude nude, this lip colour. Before I put a little coat of mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm just going to set my face. I'm going to use the NYX. So this is the Radiant Finish Setting Spray. I decided not to go for any highlighter for this look because I do love a matte glam as you guys will know if you've been following me for a while um you could obviously add highlighter to this but i just kind of wanted it to be really sort of matte and soft so i'm just going to set my face so yeah there was a lot of first impressions in here that i absolutely love i think the standout products for me definitely are this um color correction cream the foundation oh this um contour stick from revolution that was amazing and of course this revolution lace powder which has worked so so well so there we go guys, that is my finished drugstore makeup look. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching this. I've loved filming it. I've been desperate to do one of these all throughout lockdown, but I wasn't able to actually get to a drugstore to do it. So give the video a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this one. I will of course link all the products that I use to create this look below and the shade names and all that kind of stuff. If you do recreate this look, please make sure you tag me in all of your selfies because one of my favourite things is seeing you guys recreate my makeup looks. But thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.